When discussing different techniques for access control, remember that controls apply to specific threat events. That's the whole idea of a control. You're trying to stop or trying to intercept and sometimes detect that a particular threat event has occurred. So let's take a look at some of the different control types. First, we have a preventative control. The purpose of a preventative control is to avoid an event from occurring. A detective control. The purpose is to identify that an event has occurred. Totally different than the previous preventative. Preventative, again, is to avoid an event. Detective is to identify that an event actually has occurred. We also have deterrent controls. A deterrent control is designed to discourage an event from occurring in the first place. Very similar to preventative, a preventative control actually stops or prevents the control from occurring, whereas the deterrent may actually allow the event to occur, but puts in very stringent controls, very stringent consequences should that event actually occur. In a way, it's kind of like punishing an event or punishing the subject for an event occurring. There are also corrective controls. A corrective control's purpose is to fix or repair the effects of an event. Very similar to corrective controls are recovery controls. A recovery control is used to restore the state of a system or the state of an object to a known point in time prior to a threat event.